Brian. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day, a great night, folks. To begin a great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your body are and what the needs of your mind are and what fits well with you. There are millions of men and women. Some of them will make a good match for you and others won't. The two of you only to be like a what? A key and a lock. A match that works. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 26, NASDAQ up 28, SP's flat. Gold. Gold contract up $12.80, trading at 2,554 an ounce. We have silver flat, $29.33 an ounce. Late sweet crude down a buck 13. $77.27 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note, trading up four ticks, 110.27. 30 year up six ticks at 118.31 in King Dollar. King Dollar up 140 ticks, trading at 104.455. Euro at 108. Yen trading at 155. British pound at 129 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. One note's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Well, it, we've had, uh, let's just go to the VIX first, because everything has slowed down dramatically. And so 1443, we're hitting. We're at 1443. It goosed up to 17, like 14 is just not volatile. Now let's go to the E-minis. This is going to get interesting coming into the close here, because what you've had is this. You've had a couple big sells, and I suspect it's the same person, or same fund, whatever. Do you know what I mean? If the first sell came in at uh, 1040 this morning, second sell came in at uh, 1220. Now, the real question is, they're going to nail it again. You know, on, in each one of those, you talk about the, uh, so, let's see, it was 20, yeah. That second sell, that was 18 S&P points in about a heartbeat. We go to the NQs. You're going to see the same type of setup. So the real question here is, is that do they nail it one, one more time coming into the close? Now, I suspect that it, our probabilities are pretty good that they will. Nothing heavy, but that they'll get that way. The reason I'm saying that is that the last bounce that we got just almost did a 50% bounce. The one prior to that, we went to highs. So we'll see how that one's going to shake out. Let's go to the oil market. So, the, so oil, and you can see that, you know, so the oil contracts are month by month, folks, okay? So when you do jump contract months, which we did, you can see how big it gets. Because we've just gone, you know, from two weeks ago up at this 83 or at 77, and... We get down to 76.40. Yeah, you get volume down on it. So, I mean, we, if we break the 75.80, then that's going to be game all the way down to this uh, $72 again. Uh, inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness out here, you get... Uh, Arm Holdings is up 5%. CrowdStrike is up 3.5%. The Atrata Communications is up 2.6%. Amazon's up 2.4%. Pace Car, that's down 10, 11%. Holy cow. Some of these are whacking big time. Pace Car down 11%. NXPI down 8.5%. On Semi down 4.4%. If we go to NXPI, I'm going to check this out, man, because this. We take this and I put this on a much longer basis. So what you see in here, you went to an all-time high and then gave it up in spades. Interesting. Hit 296. Now we're at 259. I suspect it's going to 239. 
and we'll see what happens there. That's where it broke out of. You know, you get a failure like this, you know, you basically break out and you get toasted on the way back, you're going lower, man. And most of the time you go right to the breakout area. Inside the Dow Industrials, uh, Dow's up 47. Taken away from it is McDonald's, Disney, CVX, Visa. Putting juice into it is Boeing. That's putting a positive 52 points. Goldman, 42. You got Amazon, 29. Let's go to Amazon, because Amazon you know, probably has something to do with... Uh, I see. Okay, so no, Amazon's up four bucks, but the bottom line, it just came down from 201. Had a low two days ago of 180. We got some decent volume on this. We'll see whether it can keep going. We we'll go take a look at the uh, gold contract. There's not enough juice in the gold contract here, man. 56,000 contracts. This thing should be banging out a lot more than that. So. I see this as a, a bounce, but it's, the consolidation on this is still in play. We've been in this consolidation now since April 12th. We go to the GDX. We take a look at the GDX. It's dealing with 37.47. So we came down Friday with some volume. Friday we had 22 million. Yesterday you go higher with 15. Now oh, check this out. So today you're going with six? I don't think so, man. Yeah. That's that's basically saying to me that uh, there's still going to be pressure there. And the thing that's intriguing, of course, is that you have the dollar. You know, the dollar was up today, but the dollar, you know, that that baby. That fired off downtown in a monster way with conviction, you know. And in order to get in the higher range, the dollar would have to be you get the 105, 300 area. And we're at 104, 455. Dow, Dow Industrials right now trading up 45. You get the NASDAQ up 37. S&Ps are up two and a half. We have the gold contract up 14. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Thank you.